<laughs> Sorry. <laughs> no. Did you listen again? I I hate. Like you, I I don't think you just have to laugh, but don't be mad at me for choosing to laugh. Okay, I'm just searching me when I'm ten beers deep. Hang on. Oh, no results. Me when I'm. Joe Biden, Earth. What was the? He was at that brewery. Did you, dude? This, this quote got me laughing so hard this morning. The beer brewed here. <laughs> it is used to make the brew beer. <laughs> it is the final. Oh, Earth Rider, thanks for the Great Lakes. The beer. <laughs> Stans, thank you for the raid. You've raided me at an awkward time. I'm playing a, a clip of Joe Biden speaking at Earth Rider Brewery in Wisconsin. Um, don't read too much into it. It's just that it's like one of the most perhaps insane statements I've ever heard in my life. <laughs> what is one more? By the way, it used to make... The beer brewed here. <laughs> it is used to make the brew beer. <laughs> it is the final. Oh, Earth Rider, thanks for the Great Lakes. I wonder why it's going <laughs> He does sound like a streamer. Now, I got to say, in his defense, Earthrider is the name of the brewery. That's not like a, a, you know, he's not summoning a spirit or something like that. The beer brewed here. <laughs> it is used to make the brew beer. <laughs> it's the final. Oh, Earthrider, thanks for the Great Lakes. It's one of the, <laughs> it's an all-timer, man. <laughs> I, I'm sorry. I'm, I swear I'm not just replaying it. You know, it, it's for no other reason than it does sound like Boomhauer. I swear to God. The beer brewed here. <laughs> it is used to make the brew beer. <laughs> it is used to make the brew beer here. The final. Oh, Earth Rider, thanks for the Great Lakes. No, Hot Boy Toke, your messages are not being ignored, okay? Slash marker dulls. Hot boy Toke, your messages are not being ignored. Not me getting served an algorithmic tweet this morning uh, of my own like clip of me going ah! and then the body of the tweet is um, the goblin in my basement, it, open parentheses, it will die if I catch him. And then I was like, oh my God, who made this tweet? And then I clicked on it and it's at hot boy Toke. Like you're, you're crossing state lines on on socials man pacifier <laughs> i have no idea man dog originally on the xbox 360 <laughs> i'm gonna know it is this the xbox 360 version of Catan? <laughs> die earth's incel <laughs> did you see the, the <laughs> you, you know what you already know what i'm gonna say Oh, it's, uh, it's Fable 2, because it's from Lionhead Studios. It can't be Fable 1, that was like 2004. And it can't be Fable 3, because that I got that with my Xbox 360 and never opened it. What? That makes sense, actually. That would explain why it was a pack-in in 2012. Did you see the Five Guys sign in... Munich, Germany, that said, Wir sucking dick. <laughs> and the tweet says, Five guys in Munich is sucking dick. Oh, man. Reading non-English languages as if they were English is, is so good. It's a bit that never ends. We, we, I, I do love, we have an in big problem. Oh, man. Why is it always the Germans? Hey, we have an in big problem with the Dutch, man. It's only the Germans like 99% of the time. <laughs> it's... <laughs> we have an in big problem. I feel like there's always two Dude, options. Dude, like we suck dick. We are sucking dick. Yeah. We are sucking dick. We're five guys. You're oh, this. Man. Uh, and you're also this.
That's true. Oh, yeah. He's a party dude. Mm -hmm. Oh, well. Yeah. That's, these are both true, strangely enough. You're invited to an Oscars after party. <laughs> dude, wait a second. Win what till dear five guys. Then the other subjects will vote on your response. I like the implication of this one. Oh, God. Jesus, oh, are you an elephant? Who the <laughs> fuck is an elephant? <laughs> 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 That was amazing. He's got NOS in his gaming chair, dude. dude that, that sneeze really came out of nowhere. <laughs> Sounds like your eyeballs popped out of your head. <laughs> that was amazing. <laughs> it's incredible. Oh, man. You ever see the clip of that guy playing Super Mario 64? And it's just totally silent for like the 26 seconds of the start and then the last three seconds is him ripping an enormous part and then adjusting himself in the chair oh, oh, i need that dude i need it's, that it's so great <laughs> oh man the apps are frying our damn brain dude don't i'm, I'm just saying it i know it's not you I just want Gen Z to, if possible, avoid the same mistakes that millennials have made and every generation before us. Don't punch down at Gen Alpha for watching Skibbity Toilet, okay? Like, I keep seeing these tweets from, like, 22-year-olds that are like, the next generation is fucked. I'm like, brother, look in the mirror. You're fucked. You're 22 years old farming engagement on social media, dunking on, like, five-year-olds while sucking on, like, a nicotine pouch and I don't, I don't even want to know, man arguing in bad faith that like somehow DoorDash is cheaper than buying groceries like you're we're all cooked okay what you need to have is some cross-generational solidarity instead of just being like that wow gen alpha screwed up you're punching down on gen z no i'm not punching down on gen z i'm trying to help them avoid a mistake r slash teacher cooks the shit out of kids every day i mean i believe that but I always wonder, like, whenever I see a teacher post that's like, you're right, the kids these days are cooked. I'm a teacher and I can't get my kids to focus in class at all. I am, in my head, I'm kind of like, no disrespect, I bet you actually, like, suck ass at your job. Because you're posting, it's not because I think, like, because the kids don't listen, you're a bad teacher. It's because you're posting on Reddit. Like, that's an indictment of your intelligence as an adult. No disrespect. I'm sure like most of the teachers at your school are complaining about it like in the staff lounge and they may not be wrong, but like as soon as you start attention farming on Reddit for, you know, like a seven year old is disrespectful to me in my class. I'm like, okay, fucking did you, is, you knew what teaching was when you signed up, right? Like you're the seven year old and then you decided I'm going to do this for the rest of my life. Like that's part and parcel of the experience. You know, what's crazy to me. This is a weird place to put a slash marker again. It's crazy to me that every once in a while you will come across like a dentist on Twitter who is trying to become like a dental content influencer. I feel like something has gone wrong with society that we have people who are genuinely like highly educated, top earning medical professionals and they're like on top of doing my job, which is stressful, I'm sure, they're like, I want to spend an hour a night on Twitter, like farming engagement for being like a dental influencer. The three things you should never eat if you want your teeth to be white. Like, bro, can't you just, I, I'm saying this not to say like, screw you dental influencer. Instead, I'm more like, don't you want to just like live your life? You did the, the school, it's a lot of school. You got the degree, you got the practice, you're, you're doing the work, don't you wanna work like, you know, seven, eight hours a day, five days a week, go home, spend time with your family, pursue hobbies and stuff like that, engage with culture, engage with art, go out to eat at like a new restaurant, you really wanna be like, it's just, it's kinda of sad to me that there's something in the human brain that's like, enough isn't enough, you know what I mean? They're like, after I finish my work, I got to get on there and grind. I need like eight more TikToks to pop about how you should never be eating Dunkaroos. And I'm like, they, they, they know that. They know they shouldn't be eating the Dunkaroos to begin with. 
Maybe he's so passionate about his craft, he wants to tell others, come on, brother. They're all Gary Vaynerchuk listeners. You know it. I'm trying to meet them on a human level rather than, you know, validate their you should always be hustling sort of attitude, which I think is poison. I think it's poisoning them. I'm not worried that it's poisoning other people. I'm worried that it's poisoning them. They could be doing something more valuable. In my opinion, they could be doing something more valuable with their time. On the other hand, I think if you're insane, you should keep being uh, an influencer, no matter your profession. Did you see the, the TikTok lawyer who said there's a lot of things you actually don't have to do in society? You don't have to pay your taxes. Uh, if you are summoned to court or even to prison, you don't have to show up. That's because you are living a lie as an avatar uh, of someone who they have given you an illegal name that is supposed to be symbolic and represent you, but it doesn't actually represent you. And I was like, she's cooking, man. She is going off. I think that most of us have been aware of something being off in the US. And if you felt that way, you're not wrong. I'm gonna give you the real talk, okay? So the real talk is that taxes are fraudulent. Ooh, I know, people freak out when I say that, when people say, oh no, taxes are fraudulent. They are, you don't need to be paying them. Um, you also actually don't need to have car insurance. It's good to have it just for like ethical, moral purposes, but you, you're not required to, okay? The state requires you to, but you're not required to. Okay, I'm saying some controversial things here this morning. Um, same thing goes for a marriage certificate, marriage license. Y'all don't need that. Going to prison, getting summoned to court. You don't need to do any of that either, okay? You're not required to. The only reason you are is because your legal fiction, which is your all caps name, which is who you are thought taught to believe you are. You're not actually that. Um, you're a living man or woman. But you have been led to believe that you are all that, that all caps name that is on your driver's license, that is on your social security card, that is on your certificate of birth. If you're not familiar with what that is, go watch my sovereignty lessons. They, they just charge you up the ass for stuff and that's why life feels so expensive. This is why, because you've given jurisdiction over to this Admiralty Maritime Law System, which isn't actually the law of the land. Okay, what the founding fathers intended for our country. They wanted a republic, they created a republic, and then over time, these international banking cartels just sneakily took over the system and uh, it implemented the Admiralty Maritime Law in our government, and that's what our uh, country runs on, and then they implemented democracy as the standard rather than a republic. It is crazy that before you say um, you should buy index funds that track like the S&P 500, you have to say this isn't financial advice, even though it obviously is. But if you're a lawyer on TikTok, you could literally just be like, this is legal advice. Get it twisted. You do not have to pay your bills. It's based on British naval law. You take them one at a time. Oh, I see. It's one of those one at a time type situations. I briefly became Colin Farrell in the Banshees of Inner Sharon. Sorry, sinuses are full. One moment, please. Drake featuring Lil Yachty. Me explaining to my immune system that if you just keep uh, influenza type A antibodies on hand, you won't need to rebuild them every flu season. Oh, thank you. Oh, of course. Why didn't I think of that? I will select the manacle. You need the ASMR lean the lady on TikTok made? Oh, you mean the sleepy girl cock mocktail? <laughs> I didn't... I watched that without sound on, so I don't know exactly what was in it. But I, I did see that it was called the sleepy girl mocktail. And it was Sprite and Jolly Ranchers. And I can only assume that there was cough medicine as well. Lean Taylor's version. It was non-sleeved. Here's my thing, okay? I'm not... Uh, suggesting you should drink lean at all. I'm not suggesting you should drink lean. But isn't it all, any influencers here, any pharmacological influencers here to back me up? Isn't the bad part about lean is the dosage, right? If you are sick and you just put like one dose of NyQuil into the Sprite, what's the difference between that and just having a Coke Zero and a dose of NyQuil? 
and nobody would look at you funny. Lean is codeine? Well, I'm just saying if you're going to take the, the codeine cough medicine anyway. Don't, though? Yeah, obviously. I'm just saying it's not like it becomes like uh, nuclear when you put it into the Sprite, okay? I just feel like the Sprite is kind of getting raked over the coals. The Sprite didn't do anything wrong, man. It's recreational use of an addictive uh, substance. Excuse me, I said when you're sick. That's the best part of being sick is that you have a great excuse to take NyQuil. What's a uh, what's stream of conscience? What are you just like, just like stream of consciousness? Yeah, you, get, you just say things. It's a psychological exercise. All right, just off the top of the dome piece. Here we go. Just waking up in the morning, gotta thank God. I don't know, but today seems kind of odd. No barking from the dog. No smog. Mama cooked the breakfast with no hog. I got my grub on, but didn't pig out. Finally got a call from a girl I want to dig out. Hooked it up for later. As I hit the door, thinking will I live another 24? I gotta go, cause I got me a drop top. If I hit the switch, I could make the ass drop. Had to stop at a red light, looking in the mirror, not a jack of real sight. And everything was alright. I got a beat from Kim, and she can do it all night. We're just gonna keep going here, huh? Did you... Was that I was I, very impressed by the up or like yeah? Did you just freestyle that? That was an original off the top of the dome. No, no. Yep.